it was the fourth edition of the Climate Finance Day this week. And it was a, a very special one because uh, uh, we had before this uh, day, uh, we have two days of the global, global roundtables of the United Finance. That means that all the uh, players of sustainable finance worldwide, I mean, from the uh, insurance commissioner in California to the uh, head of the uh, Green Finance Committee in China, were this week in Paris. And this was very, very important for us because we think that we have a special responsibility here in Paris to move forward on uh, sustainable finance. We need finance to tackle the issues of climate change and the issues of our environmental and social issues, which are, I mean, basically the same thing. And we need a lot of investments. We need, only for France, between 50 and 70 billion euros of investments every year in order to reach our objective, our own objective of uh, energy transition. And I hope we will have moved forward in a lot of the initiative and the commitments that we uh, have taken this year. We want the Climate Finance Day to be the place where every year we stock take uh, the uh, sustainable finance all over the world. We have published a report about this this year, it was the first one, and we are going to publish it every year in order to follow the, uh, I mean, uh, the evolution of sustainable finance. I think next year uh, there is maybe one thing that we will focus on much more than this year, which is uh, what Brune Poisson, uh, our uh, Secretary of State uh, for uh, Ecological Transition, mentioned in her, uh, her speech, which is the next stage of sustainable finance, which is natural capital and biodiversity. We will be here and we'll speak about, about this uh, more in details.